it's Jeff Antoniak. Welcome to Digging Deeper Jazz. Thank you so much for being here. So today I want to answer uh, some questions, many, many questions coming in over the last couple months about playing outside and how to start playing outside. And some people specifically asking about side slipping or side stepping. The idea of playing an idea and then playing it a half step away from where you work to create some tension. So yes, I would love to get into this. And of course, this is for all instruments. And frankly, even though drums aren't working with tuned pitches, drummers can use this sort of technique, really. So uh, this is for everybody. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video, it's called Solo Better. So, you know, that's pretty, uh, pretty good title if you ask me. <laughs> so we were talking about how to use call and response inside your soloing, but not in sort of the basic blues call and response way. And not that call and response is basic. I don't want to get hate mail from the call and response lobby out there. Call and response is huge, which is what I talked about last session, last video. Now, if you haven't seen that, that's probably going to be something you're going to want to go back and work on. I gave two specific exercises, three actually, as I hold up two fingers, three exercises. Um, and those are going to help you pull off what we're going to talk about today. All right. So you can go back and check that out. So you can see on this PDF, which I would be happy to send you, what I did is circled a couple chord changes. So you can see I circled the fifth measure, the uh, first measure on the second line. I also circled two measures on the third line. I circled one measure on the fourth line. So the idea is I'm going to do my best here today to play something in those spots and then where you see the arrow after it, what I'm going to do is try to play that idea up a half step. So the idea of playing something, remembering what it was, hopefully, and then transposing it up a half step. So two things I'll say about this. Um, on this song, we see a lot of minor going to dominant, G minor to C, G minor to C, or B flat minor to E flat. I'm going to just be thinking about the minor chord, just for simplicity and so that I can pull this off. I'm going to be thinking about just the minor chord. So when I play an idea on the third line, B flat minor to E flat seven, I'm really just going to be thinking B flat minor so that you know what's going on with me. I'm, you know, I'm sure most of you know that the notes in B flat minor are really the same notes in the E flat dominant. So that's sort of a little thing I can do, a little sort of cheating deal I can do. Now, does it have to be these places in this song? Absolutely not. Sidestepping or playing out or this sort of thing can happen in a lot of different songs. But so what I, one of the things I want you to do is, the point I want to make today is be kind of, beware where you want to be doing this. Like, this is something you should be thinking about phrasing wise. It's not like, oh, I feel like playing out. I guess I'll just, instead of an F, I'll play an F sharp now. Well, no, it has to do with the phrasing, which is why I'm suggesting looking at the previous video. So let me give this a try. I'm going to try to play through the tune and then be listening in their circled areas and then see if that's something I can sort of take up by a half step. And, and again, the circles and the arrows are here as much to help you hear what I'm doing and have a sense of where it's going to be but also, I put these in places where, to me, they make some sense to create a little tension. So why would we do this in the first place? So right before I started playing, I was talking about this tension and release idea. Well, clearly that's what playing out is about. So there's this sort of overriding concept that we are being artists and we're choosing to give the audience something challenging, something they didn't expect. This is a part in the book that they did not see coming. That's the interesting thing. 
or it's a huge pain in the ass when it's a bad writer, a bad movie director, and something random happens, but they don't explain it. They don't eventually tie it up for you. And it was just this bizarre, surrealistic thing that happened, and that's a bad movie. That's a terrible book. That's not good jazz. So um, one of the things I was doing, at least to start with, is playing an idea and then playing really very much the same idea or the exact same idea up a half step so that you had a sense of where it came from. So that's a little lick I know. It's actually sort of quoting, um, oh, what is that? Honeysuckle Rose? So a little melodic device I like to use. Then I played it up a half step. Wrong, wrong, wrong against the chord changes. But what's another name for wrong notes? Attention or interest or... Right, so we can, they're wrong if you play them in that way. But if you play them in a way where the audience gets a sense of what's going on, they can be good. So when I played that idea and then played it up a half step, the notes were still wrong, but you knew I was in control. You got the sense I meant to do that. And oh, that would actually sounded kind of interesting. So as I went on, I think there were a couple times where I would play something and I went up, the, up a half step and played something different. So maybe I played a line and didn't copy it up a half step, but played what to me sounded like the answer to that line, but I answered it up a half step. So this goes back to the previous video. I'm saying it again, go check that out and you'll get a sense of how that works. So this idea of taking something up a half step. So the barriers to entry here, there's uh, quite a few. This is a more advanced thing. So I do a lot of practicing simple ideas chromatically up a half step, so an idea like in minor, one, two, flat, three. So that simple idea, one, two, flat, three, um, that's hard to do in 12 keys moving quickly. But so that is the kind of thing, if you're going to be playing, if you're going to be messing with side slipping, you have to be comfortable in taking an idea and moving it around. Now, of course, the place to start is get something worked out. Get a lick like my um, honeysuckle rose lick and learn it in the key you're in, learn it up a half step and very often come back to it too. So yes, this, is, this will stretch us technically on the instrument, finding something a half step away, hearing it a half step away. It really is a phrasing thing, again, from the last video, of sort of knowing where to put these things. And then there is also the artistic judgment of where does it work in a song, right? In a movie, the big dramatic explosion. There's some places that doesn't work. Don't put an explosion there, Mr. Director. There are places and there are not places, right? So I picked a song that has some static harmony where it stays in one place for a while so I have a chance to actually move something and maybe bring it back down. Uh, there are some songs, giant steps, let's say, where we're going from key to key so quickly that sidestepping is hard because is just the song, as soon as we hear the key we're in, we're immediately in a different key. So it's possible, but it's much, much harder because we don't get to set up expectations so well, or it's a different approach. So um, yeah, that's the idea. So I hope you understand the concept is not hard. Play something, play it up a half step. It's possible to play it down a half step. I think up is more traditional. Use your ears, you can check it out. Um, but there's these requirements, having a great sense of your phrasing and then having this ability to move something by a half step. So I would really encourage you to give it a try. I'm going to play again for you right now and, um, and just see if, this, if you've heard these kind of sounds. I guarantee many, many of your heroes use this idea. And as always, if you would like the uh, PDF, please uh, write me, Digging Deeper Jazz. I'd be happy to send it off to you. And definitely check out jazzwire.net. I would love to work with you there. Let me play this a little bit more for you. <laughs> 